What's up guys, it's me Crashy and today I wanted to do a little bit of a Gears Esports topic video, kind of just a topic video in general as you can tell in the title of the video I'm going to be talking a little bit about esports coaching and more specifically Gears of War coaching. Now the reason I wanted to talk about this is because it's kind of been more of a hot topic in Gears Esports lately. The coaching role is definitely kind of coming to fruition. It's being taken a little bit more seriously. People are starting to recognize some necessities to having a coach and I kind of want to elaborate on some of my goals as a coach, the way I plan to achieve them, and some of the things that I think a coach can really um, bring to a team and how they can add value. So obviously you have your really strong coaches, Ashes, Ryan, Berger, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Jovan killing it at the event recently. So I, I definitely, again, want to talk about my philosophy, the way I view it, and some of the things that I plan to bring to the table to a team in Gears Esports. So the number one thing that gets talked about a lot when coaching is said is weapon timing. And while that's not the only thing that a Gears Esports coach or like a coach in a, a shooter would do, it's definitely pretty important. If you think about it, when boom shots picked up, it's one more thing that the player has to think about. And if the, the coach can kind of alleviate that, or if the coach can alleviate the pickup of, of a really important spot on the map that you need to be because of a certain weapon, then that's one less thing that the player has to worry about. And they can get that call out from the coach and it's going to alleviate some of that pressure. And now the importance of having a coach in Gears Esports currently, I think is much more valuable than previous uh, titles for Gears because of Escalation. Now, Escalation is a very fast game type. You have to maximize your time on the map. You have to know where you need to be, why you need to be there, what rotation needs to happen, and a lot of that can actually come from the coach. Now, the coach, in my opinion, is a tool to the team to allow the experts, the professional players, to do their job better. Now, I don't ever think, in my coaching philosophy specifically, I'm never going to necessarily tell a team exactly what to do. I'm going to give them the tools they need to make those strong and hard decisions at times. Now, I will help them with callouts. Depending on my level and my relationship with the team, that's also another really important thing I'm going to touch on. I will help make those callouts. I will help uh, you know, make some of those big decisions, but my main goal is going to be to be a tool to the team to help them better understand the pitcher that's in front of them, better understand the playing field, and um, make those decisions as a five-man unit. So weapon timing is super important. It helps them understand what's going on in the map. It helps them understand the game flow. The other thing I think a coach can bring inside game is that overhead perspective. And that's really important, and, and especially in Gears 4 now with Escalation, like I said, it's so fast you're respawning. You don't have time to just sit there and look left and right at your your you know your teammate screens. You don't have time to you know flip through cameras. It's fast. You gotta go. You gotta use your time wisely. You gotta know exactly where to push and you gotta push it fast. So that extra perspective, that extra set of eyes is super valuable to me. I can make those quick calls. Hey, you have two on B on Wildy. Hey, you have two on B on demo. You know what I mean? Like those really fast calls are going to be so helpful in painting the pitcher as long as they're heard, as long as the team can receive that information properly. So quick calls, helping understand timing is super, super important in the game flow. Now, one thing I've been kind of advocating or saying a lot about my coaching style is that there's a lot out of game that goes into coaching. Being a team is not just being five skilled players and playing the game together. You have to have strong relationships and your communication and your practice needs to be valuable. When you say something from player A to player B, it needs to have meaning. Your communication needs to be clear, it needs to be concise, and it needs to be accurate. And that's something I think a lot of teams lack. You can call out numbers, you can say, hey, there's two on me, or they're over here, or you know what I mean? You can do any of that, but that's not super accurate, and you need to learn to communicate properly. And a coach being that person that's separated from the game, we're separated from the intensity of the match a little bit, we can help you tune that that communication we can help you understand why your tone of voice is a little bit frustrating for someone else we can help you understand why the relationships might not be clicking and kind of slowly shift those things in line now a stronger coach might be a little bit more analytical this is something i know we'll definitely see out of i don't know a, a person like ryan Foles who will be able to use a lot of spreadsheets take a lot of time review the film and make notes every coach should probably get into this but i think overall that could be a team effort and that's something again it really depends on the relationship between the coach and the players but there has to be a level of understanding of what the goal is now having a coach can there's a lot of different things you can do with a coach i think having them be that extra person in game is bare minimum you definitely want them to be there but bringing that coach on the squad, I mean, really pulling them into the strategies, 
pulling them into the understanding of exactly what you need from them is going to be super important from not just having a coach, but having a coach that works with your squad successfully. Now, like I said, a lot of the out of game stuff is really about relationships. It's about understanding communication, properly conveying messages, um, time management, managing your scrims, you know, and hopefully as a, as a coach enthusiast and as a person that wants to see Gears Esports grow, we can start getting a little bit more professional with our scrim schedules, you know, setting up scrim blocks and really respecting those scrim blocks and getting everyone on board with it so that time management, that, you know, maximization of practice is really there. So guys, my philosophy on coaching is that I want to be respected by the players I want to be able to add input that the players aren't going to argue with me about. And if they do, it's fine. But they need to understand that what I say is a little bit above them from an outsider perspective. Because I'm trying to give them information on themselves, their teammates, the relationships that they have, why they're having you know hard times communicating with people, what kind of communication is working, what kind of communication isn't. I want to be able to add you know input in the game. I want to be a tool to help them be successful. And overall, I just want to be a sixth teammate that's brought into the strategy that can give them so much more than they can't get themselves just by being behind a single character in game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that kind of insight into my philosophy as a coach. Definitely think there's a lot more that can go into it. A lot more coaches might be more analytical. They might be more driven behind the team. You know, they might be playing uh, you know a much more heavy role in terms of strategy. Um, so this is just kind of my perspective on it. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment below. Please do not leave without leaving a like. And let me know what you think about coaching in eSports or in Gears eSports specifically. All right, thanks.